Hello everyone, this is Karen from Karen B's Alchemy Acrylic Art. <clears throat> Today I've decided to do a little bit of a video. Um, this is kind of something that I do every year for family members. I like to do uh, different crafts um, for family members. It's usually paintings or, or pores or, um, or something of that nature. And uh, last year I decided uh, right after Christmas to go shopping for um, different materials that I can use to do some pours on and I was thinking of uh, you know next Christmas so this Christmas I got these uh, six uh, clear Christmas balls for about two dollars um, they were uh, you know on liquidation at that time because Christmas was over and that's the best time to actually buy them and uh, you can get these in plastic and, the, and glass and these ones here are actually glass uh, balls and what I'm going to do today is a pour in one of these and it looks really cool because it kind of looks gives it like a marbled looking type of um, Christmas ball. You know every year I like to change uh, the theme so I have basic colors in my tree every year, very neutral but I like to choose a one dominant color or one specific different color every year so in other words a different theme every year and this year I've decided that I'm going to go with um, some light blues so today I'm going to do a pour in this ball and um, I will uh, show you how that's done in case you have uh, ideas of your own or some colors of your own that you'd like to, uh, to play around with. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be using some pouring medium by, uh, this is Demco Acrylic Pouring Medium. I, got, I get that at Michael's. This is a, a Crafters Acrylic and this is a Silver Metallic. And this is Artist Loft Acrylic Paint. It's light blue, also from Michaels. And this is a turquoise, also Artist Loft Acrylic from Michaels as well. And this is just regular house white paint that I have. Um, I always have some on hand for different projects. So basically this is just strained house white paint. And um, I mix it with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use these very tiny little solo cups today because you need very little paint for this. So I'm going to start with the white. Pour a little bit of white in there. I'm going to go with some silver. My light blue. And my turquoise. I'm actually just going to use water. A little bit of water and a very tiny bit of this liquid fluid acrylic pouring medium. We're just adding a little bit of that in there. I'm going to stir. So you want pretty much the same consisti consistency as you would use for a regular pour. It doesn't have to be any different. And even if it's a little bit more runny, it's good because it's got to run, run around the inside of the ball anyway. So that it really coats it. Mix everything up really well. Okay. I'm actually going to make this a little bit thicker. Find it a little too liquidy. And I'm going to do the same with the turquoise. I'm actually going to go and get my uh, my silicone as well. I'm going to put a little bit of just a spray silicone that I'm going to pour. 
So I'm going to do a little bit of a dirty pour beforehand. Starting with the white, then I'm going to go with the turquoise, and I'm going to go with the silver, metallic, and then I'm going to go with my light blue. That should be more than enough. So basically my solo cup is filled at about a quarter here, that's about it. So you just hold your, your ball. And all you're doing is twisting as you're pouring. Once you have enough in there, you just kind of twist it around to make sure that the whole ball is covered. Yeah, so there you go. Then you're going to take your, your cup and you're going to let it drip overnight. So there's your nice Christmas bowl. It's very um, marble looking. Very cool. So you can see that I got a little bit of paint on the outside here, white paint, but that will come off. It's not a, not a huge deal if you accidentally do that. So I would just let that dry most likely overnight and then I would give the the uh, Christmas ball a good wipe and then you can put your little cap back on and you can make as many as you want in many different colors if you like and then you can repackage them in the package that it came with or you can put it in a nice Christmas box with some tissue paper and they make uh, wonderful gifts for your family members and uh, also great for yourself if you want to save money and you want to change uh, the colors of your you know the decorations on your tree every year it can get expensive if you if you do that and go out and buy it yourself and because the balls cost me literally two dollars a pack you know you can do a whole tree for very little and you already have your paint and if you have leftover paint uh, from through the year of having done you know some different pours uh, you can literally just um, get rid of your paints this way so it's it's a really great economical way to make a really nice long-lasting um, gift that your family members will, will really, really appreciate more than, you know, a gift that you go out and buy for them. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope you have fun and uh, that some of your family members are lucky enough to receive some of these this Christmas. Thanks for watching.